guys welcome back to my channel so today I am back with a makeup and a hair tutorial for you guys today I decided to do a quick strobing video because I've been doing it a lot lately and I didn't want to do a video on this at first but I really really love the way this makeup looks and I've been wearing it a lot lately I haven't been contouring as much I did contour my nose though because I cannot live without a nose contour but other than that it's all just highlighter it's the perfect look for summer so I'm gonna show you guys some really cool techniques that I picked up along the way just from playing around and techniques that I like so I really hope you guys enjoy those and also I know you guys have been asking for some hair requests so I am giving you a hair tutorial today I got my sewing out like a few days ago and I have clip-ins in right now so I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved this look right here and of course later on when I get my sewing back in and everything I'm going to show you guys how I style my hair as well I thought it would be really simple and easy to just show you guys what I do when I'm in between sew-ins and I still want my hair to look nice and long and my hair that I have in today this is from virgin hair obsession I always use their hair I love it so much it's so good and this is the Brazilian straight clip-ins these clip-ins I have two sets of clip-ins you only really need one but I like so much thickness and fullness that I got two I have one set of 20 inch and one set of 22 and I just kind of mix them together make them look layered and you know put them all together for my own custom look so I get them dyed black my natural hair is brown and it's a little bit lighter you can see it on top a little bit so hopefully in my next tutorial that I will put up will be me with darker hair because I am getting it dyed in a couple of days so I'm really excited for you guys to see this look today and let's go ahead and get started so quickly I'm just showing you guys some products that I used in my face I used Estee Lauder foundation Anastasia brow powder duo a NYX blush a NARS blush and my L'Oreal telescopic and of course I will list this all down below for you guys so for highlighter I'm starting off with champagne pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill and this is one of my favorites it's so beautiful so I'm gonna start by putting that down the bridge of my nose and right on the tip of my nose just rubbing that around and I'm gonna put that highlighter right on my cupid's bow and on the top of my lip because it's going to catch the light in such beautiful ways that it makes our lips look fuller brighter and just gives it a healthier appearance overall so I'm just putting that right on my upper lip and right down the top of my lip as well because it's going to make the glow even more intensified and I'm going to take my elf angled brush and I'm going to put that on my cheekbones I'm going to put that on the front of my cheeks and right up at the top towards my eyes in all the spots where the sun hits your face And I'm going to dust just a little bit of that on my chin as well. And I'm going to put it around my eyebrows just because it's going to shine so brightly when the sun hits it and it's going to be so beautiful. I'm not going to put this around my forehead because of course I'm oily and I don't want it to shine too much right there. And also I'll put it in the corner of my eyes as well. And next I'm moving on to my Dose of Colors highlighter in Sunkissed. And as you can see this is one of my all time favorites. And we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did down my nose on my cupid's bow on my cheeks above my eyebrows and in all the spots where the sun's going to hit our faces just so that it makes the glow so much bigger and so much brighter this is intense highlighting here guys <laughs> And that, my friends, is how you strobe. And now I'm going to set it with a powder, as I always do. This doesn't take off any highlighter, but I'm going to touch it up anyway. I just want to make sure that there's no lines in between where my skin is and where the highlight is because we want it to look as natural as possible, even though we're strobing a lot. We don't want it to look too overboard. And next, I'm going to use this Bite Beauty fruit gloss this one is in the color current this is one of my favorites it has a little tint of color but not much it just makes your lips look really glossy and healthy and it's one of my favorites to use and next we're going to move on to hair I'm going to use my clip-ins from virgin hair obsession as I mentioned before I keep them in a Bellamy bag I don't use Bellamy hair but I love their storage so I use the Bellamy bag so I'm taking these three clips right here it's just one weft with three clips on it and I'm going to comb that out and straighten it I don't straighten it all the way because I like it to have a little bit of a wave but just from keeping it in the bag so long it does get a little wavy so I'm going to straighten through that
and then I'm going to just part my hair with my fingers. I don't look in a mirror to part my hair because I don't really care if it's like a completely straight part or not. I just part it with my fingers and then clip it up with my clip. And then I go ahead and clip that hair in. And that is what it looks like from behind. And I always double my clip-ins just to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm taking a two clip and I'm combing that out and straightening it as usual. And I'm going to clip that right on top of the one that I just did. And here's what that's going to look like from behind. So that's the three and then the two right on top. And then we're going to do that again with the next section of hair that I'm going to part out. And then across the wider part of the back of my head, I used a four clip. So I'm doing the same thing, comb it out, straighten it, and then clip it right in. Look at my face right here. I was struggling to get this clip in. And just continuing to do these clip-ins all over my head. And on this side, I just decided to do a two clip one. And on the other side, I did a two clip one as well, instead of doing another four, just so it's easier to split up. That's the good thing about clipping sometimes. You can just add pieces of hair where you think you need them or where you want them, and it's easier in that aspect. And right here, I'm about to part in the front of my edges really quick and clip just a one piece clip in because I don't like for my ears to show too much. That is really weird, I know, even though I tuck my hair behind my ears when I do clip in sometimes, but I usually like to just clip in just a one clip right there just to hide them just a little bit more. And also just to add volume in that one spot. So now I'm gonna start with my bangs. I just part my hair right through the middle of them and I'm gonna clip one pieces in just like I did for that little spot on my edges because I don't want too much volume right there. I already have a lot of volume on the top of my head. I just kind of want it for length so that it's easier for me to push it behind my ears. And now I'm just gonna brush it all out, feel through it, make sure that everything is smooth and all of my tracks are covered with my hair and we are good to go. And this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, all products will be listed in the description bar below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.